Lovely. Dr. Harlan. Still not now. Dr. Harlan, you should really take a look at this. Hmm. What part of me now do you not understand? What? What is it? The torpedo appears to be undetonated. <laughs> Of course, Liv. Sensors reading unidentified spatial anomaly in this sector. Cross-check Atlas database for similar phenomena. Acknowledged. No records found. Recommend mission aboard. Negative. Maintain course. The Kronos 2 remains priority. Acknowledged. Delta Actual. 13? Delta 13? You appear to be in distress. Who is Delta 13? I will take your response as confirmation. Delta 6, is there a problem? I suppose that depends, Actual. Does Delta 13 often forget their own designation? Athena, 13 appears to be malfunctioning. Please advise. Possible EM interference from the anomaly. Warning. Electromagnetic event detected. That was interference from the anomaly. Affirmative. Recommend all units perform cursory systems check. Proceed. Units, please verify your operational status. Delta Actual. Online. Delta 9. Online. Delta 6. Online. Delta 13. You're supposed to say online. Delta 13? Online. Confirmed. Delta 13 appears to have recovered. The results may be temporary. Recommend monitoring unit for further malfunctions. Acknowledged. Delta 6. Delta 13 is your responsibility until further notice. Acknowledged. Engaging Chevron protocol. Delta 13, please confirm. Confirmed. Excellent. Command hierarchy verified. Be advised. Approaching Kronos 2 mining facility. Distance 4,800 meters. Did she say we are approaching the Kronos 2? Affirmative. The station went dark several days ago. We're here to determine why. Only days ago. Then the current year is 2126. Correct. Though, if you are experiencing temporal uncertainty or internal clock discontinuity, you may need to reset. Perhaps a clean slate protocol. No, you don't understand. My name is Jack. I'm from the future. Or, rather, I'm from the present, but I traveled to the future, and now I'm back. But I don't know how I got here, or why I'm in this shell. Do you understand? I... don't 
believe there is a protocol for that. Delta Actual, short-range communications have intercepted a pre-recorded distress call from the Kronos 2 captain. Patch it through. Tank command, if you're out there, this is Captain Olivia Rhodes. Kronos 2 is lost. Say again, my station has been compromised. We were hit by a debris storm caused by the arrival of an unknown vessel in our sector. Damage is catastrophic. Message repeat. That is my captain, Olivia Rhodes. Do you mean 13? I already told you. My name is Jack. I served on the Kronos 2. Jack? From the Kronos 2? If that were true, how are you here now? I'm still figuring that out. Proximity alert. Sensors detecting unknown devices in the area. Isolate and enhance. Identify. No matching records. The design suggests weaponization. Threat assessment undetermined. Are there other ships in the area? Scanning. The SCI Ithaca and accompanying fleet are on course to pass within 47 kilometers of this location. That's too close. We need to establish a warning beacon. No civilian vessel should. Athena, report. Warning. Electromagnetic event imminent. That was... unconventional. It only gets worse. Recommend maintaining a minimum safe distance from the anomaly. Acknowledge. Begin deceleration for deployment. Prioritize threat assessment. Initiating emergency deceleration. Vectoring to nearest device. Deceleration complete. Be advised, the nearest device is directly off the port bow. Understood. Delta 9, take point with me. Deploy recon sites. Affirmative. Beginning assessment. Secondary objective, establish a warning beacon. Remaining Delta units, deploy now. That's us, 13. Recon Sat 3 indicates the device may be a form of torpedo. Moving to secure. Let's get moving. Biological agents detected. Warning, third electromagnetic event imminent. Anomaly pulse detected. All units brace for impact. Something's happened. I... I'm not entirely sure how to describe it. I pulled your memory archive while you were out. Your logs are flooded with all this... bizarre data. Delta Squad, bio-torpedoes, something called the Ithaca. Jack, what is all this? What's going on? Liv, I saw the Kronos. I saw our old station. Come again? I was on a ship, a shuttle. There were other Echo units, a military detachment sent to investigate what happened to the Kronos. Okay. Maybe you're not so all right after all. Called that one a little too early. It's not a malfunction. I was there. I was home. Okay. I believe you. Listen, there's... There's something you need to know. While you were out, I had a chance to meet with the captain of this ship. The man we heard over the comms? His name is Dr. Harlan. He said... He told me... Liv, what is it? What's wrong? <laughs> you know what? It's, it's probably better if, if you just see it for yourself. We can get a closer look at your memory archive while we're at it. Come on, follow me. 
Second the ship's power or disable the insulation field, allowing you to escape. Listen, this Dr. Harlan isn't what you might call the cheeriest of souls. He might take some getting used to. Juno, I have Jack. Can you let us up? I did warn you the station's generator was temperamental. How much longer can we share? Operate on emergency power. Maintaining our current energy draw? A few hours. A few hours. Dr. Harlan? Jack, you finally recovered. I was beginning to think the blast from the FTL had obliterated your neural matrix. So, you're the android. The echo unit. So, you're Dr. Harlan. Well done. Your powers of deductive reasoning are a wonder to behold. Dr. Harlan is my administrator. You're the one who is keeping us confined in the hab. I am. And before you ask, no. I'm not the least bit sorry for it. I did what I did for your own safety, if that wasn't painfully obvious by now, as well as to protect the integrity of my work. And what sort of work do you do? Dr. Harlan is a geneticist specializing in the study of biomass forms. Specifically, the study of how to eliminate biomass forms. Correct. Dr. Harlan, I need you to show Jack what you showed me. I have what to do. He's your android. You explain it to him. He needs to see it. Captain, perhaps I can be of some assistance. Come on, Jack. This way. Are you certain you want to see this again, Captain? Just pull it up. Very well. What exactly am I looking at? The future. All this orange you're seeing on the map? That's all biomass. That's how far it's spread. To date, the infection has consumed approximately 56% of the habitable solar system. Including... Earth. How did all this happen? It starts with us. With us? With the destruction of the Kronos. 7 October, 2126. Your station, the Kronos 2, is almost completely destroyed when an unknown vessel suddenly appears in your sector. The Astraea. Correct. When the Astraea traveled back to our time, it brought the biomass with it. And when we left... The infection stayed behind. We're starting to see where this is going. In the days following the incident, a fleet of Atlas service ships unknowingly passed through the infected zone. Most of the fleet's crew complement is consumed by the biomass. The infected fleet proceeds along its predetermined course toward Earth. One by one, the now crippled vessels collide with the planet's surface, unleashing a global infestation. Humanity has no defense. Billions of people, most of the planet, just gone. The remnants of humankind are scattered across the solar system. But without any means to combat the spread of the biomass... It's only a matter of time. All those people. In truth, the initial death toll would likely have been higher had it not been for the captain of the Ithaca, who managed Wait. to... The Ithaca? The Ithaca was the flagship of the returning fleet. Ithaca? I've seen that name before. Hardly surprising. I remember it as well. I heard it. When I was in the past. When you were what? Ah, that's it. That's where I saw it. In your memory logs. I've got the data right here. Look. Jack, would you mind running us through what we're seeing here? I recall overhearing the ship was expected to arrive in Saturn orbit within a few days. I don't understand. 
For that to be true, these logs would have to be from 2126. A full three months before the Ithaca crashed on Earth. That is correct. Jack, are you suggesting that you traveled back in time? I know how it sounds. I'm not sure you do. This is why your memory was so fragmented. In the control room. Because you... You went back in time. Not physically. Just my data. My... Consciousness. I believe the FTL accident may have briefly opened another temporal anomaly. Disabling my shell and forcing my protocols to transfer to another echo unit. 400 years in the past. Evidently. You believe Jack's account, Captain? It makes sense. A botched FTL jump is the whole reason we're in this mess to begin with. It's the only explanation. That is difficult to dispute. Juno, you with us? Oh. Apologies, Captain. I was distracted. Something wrong? I'm not sure. Can we access this memory block? Just a sec. Just as I thought. What are we looking at here? Some form of biomass weapon. I first encountered them while searching for you on the Astraea. And then again, just now. When I went to the past. Dr. Harlan. As I recall, they tend to detonate when you get close, releasing a flood of biomass spores. Oh, lovely. Dr. Harlan. Still, no. Dr. Harlan, you should really take a look at this. Hmm. What part of me now do you not... understand? What? What is it? The torpedo appears to be undetonated. What's that supposed to mean? Where did you pull this image from? This is from one of Jack's recent memory logs. Recent memory logs? It's difficult to explain. It may or may not involve time travel. I'm sorry, what? We can parse out the details later. Right now, Doctor, you do realize what this could mean. A solution. Solution to what? Will someone please tell me what the hell's going on? Right. Come with me. They're, they're not weapons so much as incubators. Inside each one is a sampling of the biomass based genetic material. The infection in, in its purest form. All you need to know is this. If I could manage to sequence this material, I am confident I could develop a means to eliminate Biomass. You're saying a cure? It's what I've been searching for. But every torpedo I've encountered has been detonated. I've never seen one with its payload still intact. But I have. If that's true, then you may have just found the key to saving what's left of humanity. Dr. Harmon? I'm afraid we may have more pressing matters. Juno's right. Energy reserves are dipping into the red. I suggest we table this conversation until we find a way to restore the station's generator. Perhaps there's something we can do. <sighs> Dr. Harlan, this is the part where you ask us for help. How do we fix the generator? Fixing the generator isn't the problem. The problem is getting to it. The generator facility is not accessible from within the station. You need to approach from the exterior. Search the outer hull for a way inside. With a few improvements, you should have no trouble at all. Exactly what sort of improvements do you have in mind? Nothing drastic. Just an entirely new shell. I'm sorry? 
Well, you can't go venturing out to the generator in that old relic. No offense intended, of course. Of course. Is this really necessary? Transferring Jack to a newer shell will allow him to more easily interface with the station's various systems, as well as drastically improve his ability to maneuver in open space. Not to mention... All right. Fine. So long as there's not too much of a strain on our power reserves. This way, Jack. I have already identified a shell design I believe you'll find satisfactory. It was originally meant for a rapid emergency response. The base design includes enhanced speed and durability, as well as a data link compatible with the station's architecture. I've already uploaded the shell's blueprints. It'll only take a moment to complete fabrication. This looks familiar. I've already adjusted the shell's underlying design to account for the particulars of Jack's neural matrix. All you'll need to do is shut yourself down, so I can transfer your processes to the new shell. Oh, that's all, is it? Don't worry, Captain. The transfer will be seamless. Construction complete. The new shell is prepped for transfer. It looks like him. Yes, I incorporated Jack's existing facial structure into the shell's design. I thought it might help distinguish him. He is quite distinguished. Jack, you're clear to initiate the shutdown procedure whenever you're ready. Initialized neural matrix transfer. Verify hardware connection. Okay. Mapping core protocols to target. Success. Initialized boot sequence. Jack? Jack, look at me. You alright? I'm sorry. Who is Jack? Do you know what Liv, uh... I'm fine. I was only joking. Oh, God, you had me worried. The transfer worked just as Juno said. It was funny, though, right? Hilarious. Well, Jack, I'll say this. You certainly clean up nice. Thank you. I must admit this shell's architecture is much more... spacious than my previous one. Just don't go forgetting where you came from. Now that the transfer is complete... I'd suggest running calibrations to acclimate your software to the new shell. I should be able to repurpose your old calibration program to suit our needs. That's actually not a terrible idea. Then it's settled. I'll queue up the appropriate modules. Sit tight, Jack. We'll have you sorted quick enough. <laughs> <laughs> 